The Space Test Program (STP) is the primary provider of spaceflight for the United States Department of Defense (DoD) space science and technology community. STP is conducted by the Advanced Systems and Development Directorate, a directorate of the Space and Missile Systems Center of the United States Air Force. STP provides spaceflight via the International Space Station, piggybacks, secondary payloads and dedicated launch services. <laughs> Activities during 2001 During August 2001 STP conducted two successful activities using the shuttle and ISS. STS-105 delivered and successfully deployed the Materials International Space Station Experiment Materials International Space Station Experiment externally on the ISS. MISE, a passive materials exposure experiment, is the first external experiment on ISS. In addition, STS-105 retrieved and returned MACE-2 Midic Active Control Experiment 2 from the ISS. MACE 2 was the first experiment on ISS and was operated for nearly a year. On September 30, 2001, STP and NASA launched the Kodiak Star mission on an Athena I launch vehicle. This was the first orbital launch out of Kodiak Island, Alaska. In addition to NASA's Starshine 3 spacecraft, this mission included three small DOD spacecraft which tested a variety of new space technologies. STP and the Air Force Research Laboratories Space Vehicles Directorate developed a secondary payload adapter ring for the evolved expendable launch vehicle, EELV, which can host up to six 400 pound micro satellites. STP also worked closely with NASA and the United States Navy on the geosynchronous imaging Fourier transform spectrometer, Indian Ocean Meteorology and Oceanography Imager project. In December 2001, STS 108 hosted the Shuttle Ionospheric Modification with Pulsed Localized Exhaust experiment. Simplex observed ionospheric disturbances created by shuttle engine burns via ground radar sites and supported plume technology, plume signature, and space weather modeling. <laughs> Activities during 2002 Simplex flew again on STS-110 in April 2002. STP also worked to obtain a one-year radio frequency license extension for the Picasar experiment launched on the September 2001 Kodiak Star mission. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Activities during 2003. On January 6, 2003, STP and the Naval Research Laboratory launched the Coriolis Satellite, a risk reduction effort for NPOESS, aboard a Titan II launch vehicle. <laughs> Activities during 2007 On March 9, 2007, six satellites were launched into LEO on a shared Atlas V launch vehicle. The satellites were Orbital Express, Astro and NextSat, DARPA Midstar-1, United States Naval Academy FalconSat-3, United States Air Force Academy STPSAT-1, USAF Space Test Program CFESAT, Los Alamos National Laboratory the satellites shared the launcher through use of an evolved expendable launch vehicle secondary payload adapter ESPA. United Launch Alliance provided a video feed of the launch. <laughs> <laughs> Activities during 2008 The CNOFS Communications Navigation Outage Forecasting System satellite, which was launched on the 16th of April 2008, will be operated by the Space Test Program. Topic: 
Topic: Activities during 2010. The third Minotaur IV, known as STPS-26, was successfully launched in November 2010. This was the 26th small launch vehicle mission in STP's 40-year history of flying Dodd space experiments. STPS-26 launched at 1:45 Coordinated Universal Time on the 20th of November 2010 from the Kodiak Launch Complex. The launch facility contractor was Alaska Aerospace Corporation The payloads were released in a 650-kilometre orbit, before the Hydrazine Auxiliary Propulsion System upper stage was demonstrated by deploying two ballast payloads into a 1,200-kilometre orbit. The payload included the STPS-82 spacecraft. Topic: Activities during 2013. STPS-83 is a copy of the STPS-82 satellite, which carried five experiments, including a module designed to host various space situational awareness sensors and a pair of space environment sensors. It launched on November 19, 2013. topic activities during 2014 contract award as announced on Tuesday October 14 2014 the United States Department of Defense awarded Sierra Nevada Corporation's space systems previously known as spacedev with a contract to develop and build a next generation science and technology demonstration satellite known as STPS 85 for their space test program topic Upcoming activities STP-2 The STP-2 payload is scheduled to be launched aboard a Falcon Heavy in April 2019. The payload is composed of 25 small spacecraft, included is Cosmic 2, a cluster of six satellites, with a mass of 277.8 kg each. The primary role of the Cosmic 2 satellite constellation is to provide radio occultation data with an average latency of 45 minutes. The six satellites will be placed on an orbit with an inclination of 24 to 28.5 degrees with six separate orbital planes with 60 degree separation between them. The payload stack will be integrated using EELV secondary payload adapter. Two Esper Grande rings will be used to mount the six Cosmic 2 satellites beneath the Esper ring hosting the DSX payload and avionics modules. STP-2 will also host up to eight CubeSat nanosatellites deployed with P-Pods poly satellite orbital deployers. .Other secondary payloads include LightCell-2 carried by the PROX-1 nanosatellite, Oculus ASR nanosatellite, GPIM, and the Deep Space Atomic Clock. STP-3 <laughs> <laughs> The STP-3 payload is scheduled to be launched on the ULA Atlas 5551 rocket in June 2019. It includes the STPS-86 satellite with the NNSA's Space and Atmospheric Burst Reporting System 3, NASA's Laser Communications Relay Demonstration Payload, and six more secondary payloads for the U.S. Air Force. <laughs> 